what you see here there are two ultrasound transducers from G Coro Matrix. In fact, on the left side marked as OEM is a original from G Coro Matrix. 100% all parts are from G factory. It is never repaired. Brand new transducer connected to the port one of 170 series fetal monitor. The second one is a non OEM transducer. 100% all parts are non G including plastic casings, connector, cable, stain relief, uh, crystals. As you see on fetus heart rate display channel 1, there are three dashes, there is no spurious signal. As it is a 100% original transducer, there is no spurious signal pickup. We are going to connect the non-OEM transducer to port 1 and port 2 will again connect the OEM transducer and see what happens. Now, channel one was OEM, we transfer it to the channel 2, channel 1 is non-OEM transducer, 100% non-OEM transducer as you see the fetus heart rate display is spurious, it goes from 50-60 bits per minute to even 278, keeps picking up intermittently. This is because of the non-OEM parts, especially the crystal bonding, non-conformal glue. The, there are air pockets trapped while gluing the crystals and over a period of time. That cavity expands, there are small particles inside and that's how it starts picking up the signal. <coughs> this monitor came from a local hospital where the nursing in charge told us that they are totally fed up with the performance of transducers and we found that problem was exclusively with non-OEM transducers, either compatible transducers or OEM transducers repaired with non-OEM parts, non-OEM crystals, cable connector. On channel 1, non-OEM transducer, you can see the connector looks as if it is original because of the color. It is molded, hard connector, hard plastic where there is a leakage of current between the pins whereas the channel 2 is a original connector with a rubber boot and even when this non OEM connectors couple of times connection disconnection it loosens the female socket on the monitor which you can see on the monitor here 250 series just below the 170 series the bottom one and it starts picking up spurious signal even though it is 100% original. You can see using non OEM transducer has damaged the connector on this monitor and intermittently it picks up the signal. It can make a typical uh, noise when we are doing the connection and disconnection. I'll try it one more time. You can also check out on top 170 series, still there is a spurious signal that comes intermittently and goes off. This is what interferes with the diagnosis whether fetus is at stress or not at a stress. Both the transducers at that same level, ceiling height is 6 feet, there is no echo coming back. If echo is coming back, it will be same for both the transducers as they are exactly at same level. So certainly non-OEM parts, non-OEM transducers, compatible transducers have performance issues and these transducers keep going for repair repeatedly, come back with the invoices over a period of time hospital pays more than if they would have gone for a new replacement at first place. Let's open this transducer and see what is inside it.
we have transferred OEM transducer from 170 series monitor to 120 series monitor. We can check up whether it is working or not. It is perfectly working fine. It's making noise. We have completely wiped out the water. You can see the display here. You can see the three dashes. It is stable. There is no spurious pickup at all. And I, once again, if we go back and check up 170 series monitor, now since there are no transducers, display is blank. I'm going to open the non OEM transducer. These are the connectors which are non OEM molded. They look like as if they are original, but they are not original. They are hard connectors. There is always a leakage of current intermittently between the pins because of the cheap quality plastic and process. So let's open this transducer. One thing about this transducer is all these non, non OEM plastic parts they look very bright. As you see here this is also non OEM is also non OEM and even if we replace with the OEM cable this doesn't perform exactly as original transducer it does pick up spurious signal we're going to open this non OEM transducer this is 100% all the parts plastic casing top bottom crystals Even the screws used many a times, they don't use stainless steel screws. There are no O-rings, so moisture enters inside that creates intermittent problem as well. You can see this transducer. There is a glue poured as if a syrup is poured in a dish. So glue is there right from the front surface to the top surface, damping the crystals completely. This is a non-conformal work and that is why there is a intermittent spurious signal pickup problem, center frequency changes because of this kind of a work. First of all the crystal being non-OEM, they are not exactly in a specs as compared to what factory uses central frequency drifts they are damped so bandwidth is either reduced or increased at Avron Bionics we repair these transducers OEM transducer using OEM quality parts compliant processes we offer lifetime warranty on crystal bonding the ultrasound beam quality will be exactly as if it was a brand new transducer from the factory. It will perform to exact factory specifications. Extended warranty, default warranty is two years, but lifetime warranty on the crystal bonding, so you, you won't ever have a rattling problem or performance issues over a period of time. So please go to nautilustoco.com, give us a call, and we look forward to an opportunity to serve you with OEM quality. Thank you.